and maybe you know if there's anybody in the chat that watched the old streams it is when i found out about that right the whole gay gay superman uh excuse me, not gay superman um uh which that's the thing but uh gay gay spider-man gay uh, uh disabled spider-man oh God. and oh, i remember God. like it sounds something like t franklin would do and then it came to find out that was <laughs> that was who was writing it it was t franklin who's also gay and disabled and and it's like i shouldn't be able to do that like i shouldn't be able to I know everything about who this person is because I read, I didn't even have to read it. I just knew that I just saw the fucking character swinging around with a fucking wheelchair on a, on a back and a Spider-Man. I'm like, that's some shit that it, it is as illogical as it might be. That's some shit that T Franklin would do. And that's exactly who did it. A disabled person, paralyzed person in a wheelchair swinging. <clears throat> Their legs would knock them out. <laughs> They'd be flapping all over the place. They'd man. be. <laughs> One episode, it's over. <laughs> they died swinging from a building. They'd be swinging all over the place. No direction. And then they're swinging with their fucking wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, on the back. Web to their back. The image that I saw. Or the, the few in images that I saw was uh, dead from the waist down. And this is if you're dead from the waist down and you're watching this, this is not a stab at you. You're not a fucking superhero flying through the fucking air. Uh, without their legs bound in any way, so they're going to be fucking flapping everywhere. Yeah. Wheelchair webbed to the back. The image is ridiculous for a start. Okay. Then they land. How? What are you landing on? Your fucking legs? You have no legs. You're paralyzed. If you land on your feet, you go fucking plant. So how are you landing? On your fucking anus? How? Are you, are you fucking getting your chair out, throwing it, and then fucking leaping into the chair as it's wheeling down, which then hits the side of the wall? Fucking how? Anyway, forget all that practical. We then, they then land. And the next thing I know, they're getting dressed for a party yeah. wearing a fucking pride flag as a skirt. Yeah. And I'm like, <clears throat> if I'm an editor, if I'm an editor for, for Marvel, right? I, I'm, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone to the boss. I'm on the phone to the boss and go, sorry, sorry. Hi, hi, editor at Marvel here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are you fucking taking the piss out of me? <laughs> hey? Is it, sorry, I, I'm, is this like, am I on, I am, am I on fucking camera? Yeah. Because uh, I got this book on my desk, right? Fucking disabled chick, gay, obviously, you know. Uh, swinging around, fucking legs going everywhere. Fucking wheelchair, web to her back, lands, puts on a fucking pride flag to go for a dance. Come on then, where's the camera? Where's the fucking camera? Because you're a fucking joke. You're a joke. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. But again... You read it, or you see that, and uh, now you know everything about the fucking writer, and that's the sad thing, right? You know politically where they at, like what I, I, it's just, it's not what this shit is supposed to be about, or what it was ever about, or what these characters are are about, and it's like, you know, it is, you know, to take take what you say, it is fucking boring. <laughs> uh, it, it it is quite boring. Um, and you know, it, it's not helping any sort of medium. And I, look, I don't care what it is, man, film, uh, TV, comics, uh, especially fucking comics. The gaslight of it all is like, what gets me is these people act like we're fucking seeing ghosts and it's insane. It's like, Hey. It's, you it's remember, you remember that run, don't you? You remember that run of Spider-Man. That, mm -hmm. that bit. There was four episodes. Uh, the the first four, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't paying any attention after I think the first four or five. But in the first four, four or five episodes, because it was like a different Spider-Man every week, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, yep, you had, yeah. remember you had gay Liberace. Uh, yeah, Liberace well, that's just it. by four episodes, there was either, there was three gay and one straight, or it's either five episodes and four straight, and uh, four gay, 
I want straight fucking yeah, Liberace, Spider-Man. Liberace, yeah, the fashion designer Spider Man. Yeah, same. Spider-Man. And he was gay, boy. He was fucking flamboyantly gay. It was fucking extremely gay. So you got disabled gay, then you had flamboyant gay, then you had moody gay, and then there was it's like so it's either three out of four or four out of five. Yeah, because then you I had that, that UK. Remember the UK black black Spider Man, Spider Woman. Oh. It was fucking ridiculous, man. Now that I'm thinking about it, it was fucking that whole shit. It was like, it was, yeah, it was like a one out of five type of thing. I think it was one. It was five. Well, I think, yeah, I think it's one straight five or oh, the next four gay. Because <laughs> that's that's the actual you know ratio. It was fucking reality. Ninety seven percent straight to three percent gay comics fucking 80 percent gay 20 percent rap Alpha Core Number One's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.